Hey guys, good morning. This is Sarah again from BU Notary Services. So today is a very special day. Today is my birthday and I decided to work, you know. I have the weekend to relax. Today is a Thursday, so I wanted to work today. And today is one, one and the first of my busiest days this year. I don't know how it happened, but it just fell into my lap. So... I'm gonna take you on the journey of my seven signings today. This is my most highly requested video, so follow me as we go through signings. Later. Oh, sorry guys. Okay, so. I'm on my way to my first one. It is a home equity loan. All right, so it's gonna be in and out. Average, it takes about 15 to 25 minutes. Um, prior to every appointment, I text the signers and I let them know what my expectations are. Meaning, number one, always have a copy of your IDs and the original. If they are unable to make a copy of their IDs, that's perfectly fine. I have a mobile printer in the back. What I do is I take a picture of the IDs and I print it out before shipping the packets and I put it inside. And also, number two, I ask them to please have a clear table for us to conduct the signing with no distractions when i say distractions i mean pets children anything that can distract them from this signing is what i warn them to you know or advise them to um not have running around um all right and then also I just kind of give the clear impression that I'm coming to do the signing. And this is all via text, guys, that I'm coming to, to do the signing at such and such time. And I always tell them my arrival window. So if an appointment is listed for 9 o'clock, I always tell them I will arrive um, at a time window between 8.45 and 9.15. So in the event that you cannot make it there 15 minutes earlier, you will have that text stating that either you come 15 minutes earlier or you show up 15 minutes late due to traffic. But we tend to try to make our time so we don't, you know, um, come late. So, and even if you send them that text message and you're still running late, although you believe that they have the idea that you did tell them they're gonna run late, always call them. If it's a nine o'clock appointment, no later than 8.15, 8.30 is when you actually see your GPS and you know that you're gonna be late, call them and have the common courtesy and tell them, hey, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna be running late. I have an ET of such and such time. That's, and it's up to them to accept it or not, you know? Um, but don't, don't only leave it up to the text message you sent 24 hours ago about an arrival window. Always be respectful and be courteous of their time as well. All right, so my first one again is a home equity loan. I am currently at the house at the moment. I'm just pulling up. This is a runaround, is it a, I don't know what it's called. Runaround, a turnaround, I don't know. But it's something you have to turn around to. Um, but yeah, my GPS just told me I have arrived, so I'll see you guys later and I'll tell you all about it. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so I'm back. So I just finished the first signing. Um, it literally took about 20 minutes or so. Um, a home ec equity loan. They needed the funds deposited into their external bank accounts, for example, TD Bank. So all you have to do here is collect avoided check right um my lender wanted me to send a picture of the voided check and the email uh attached to the completion email sorry um but yeah so <clears throat> it went great i'm on my way to my second signing it's about 39 minutes away however i have more than enough time so yeah i'm just gonna make sure that i recheck the documents before sealing the package and making sure everything's okay. Uh, just to note, the signers for this first one, they actually had a copy of their driver's license ready for me. So 
very appreci appreciative. So I'll see you guys after my next one. Later. Oh, my, my next one is also a home equity loan. All right. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back again. I just finished the second closing. Um, it was a home equity loan as well. Again, it took me about 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, the husband had to get to work. So it was originally at 11 and then they wanted to meet at 1045. And after my first signing, I had more than enough time to get there. So I text and I asked them, how early can I get there? That I can definitely be there at 1030 if that's okay with them. And they reply back saying that yes, um, 1030 works. Although I got to the front of their house around like 1010, I literally just sat there and waited in the car because I didn't want to, you know, bombard them. Um, given that I moved up the time. So I just waited and we were done within 15 to 20 minutes. Um, I got a tip. Yay! I got a tip. Um, and uh, we were done. So now I'm on my way to my third signing, which is a Quicken loan. I started it last week. However, this, um, the wife wasn't available to sign her part. So that is only going to take about five minutes. Quicken loans normally take five minutes anyway. Um, but this is going to take five minutes and we're going to be all done. And I have more than enough time to get to my fourth signing. So it's only 11 o'clock on my way to my third signing. And Quicken Loans, again, the payout for that should be about between $60 to $125. Um, I'm, I am of white glove status with First American. So I just picked it up for $60. No, no biggie because it was already on my way anyway because it's all in the same area. So once I'm done with that, I'm heading over to my fourth signing. And I will let you guys know how that goes as well. See you later. Oh, so I'm back. Hi, guys. So I'm currently waiting on um my, what number is this? One, two, three. My fourth signing, okay? Um, it was supposed to be at four, but I couldn't go to this signing. I, I couldn't go back to my side and come back to this side. Um, and I said, well, since I'm already here, I moved it up to one o'clock. So right now I'm literally waiting, literally waiting, um, in my car for the wife to get home. We are scheduled for one o'clock right now. It's 1252. The signing that I just had for the Quicken Loans literally lasted three to four minutes or so. It lasted three to four minutes. Um, I'm going to post a picture that I took because um, they had on the wall like a happy birthday balloon for one of their children last week and it was still up. So I took a little selfie. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put that up really quickly. But yeah, so I'm just literally in my car. I have done, as you can see, their closed envelopes. I have done one, two, three. So just waiting on the fourth so we can start. It's a home equity loan as well. That is my last for this county, which is Suffolk County. I'm going to head back to Queens County. My two, my two o'clock, okay? Let's say three o'clock. Documents were not uploaded. It's still 1253. And it's been way more than the allotted time for a sign-in service or a lender or a title company to upload the documents. So right now we're just literally waiting for them to upload. I have sent an email out. I sent an email stating that it has now been um, over the time giving for them to upload the documents. Are they looking to reschedule? That I can only... Um, perform the signing if the documents are uploaded within the next hour. I emailed them last night, yesterday, not even at night, in the afternoon to ask them when the documents will be uploaded. They said it's going to be uploaded either last night or early this morning. It's about to be one o'clock, six minutes to one, okay? It's about to be one o'clock and we do not have the docs and the signing is supposed to be at two o'clock. So right now, I don't know what's going going on because I have a four o'clock in Queens as well, but it's on the opposite side. Um, 
So I think after this signing, I'm just going to call the one for four o'clock, head over there. And that is the customer that um, requested me. He keeps requesting me for all of his transactions. He's buying more out of state properties. So he's calling, he's telling the um, companies that he wants me to be the notary. So this is the third company now. And this is the second time he has requested me. I'm excited. Okay. So, um, but this time it's not the signing service that's going to pay me. It's him directly. So I don't know how that goes. I never really happened. Um, but just to let you guys know on a side note that if you do get tips during signings, take them, take them, take them, take them. Okay. Um, if they offer you tips, take, take them, say thank you and keep on pushing. Okay. Um, but in, in the sense of this signer paying me, I don't know how that's going to go. Um, I mean, I, I know how it's going to go, but I just don't know what fee It's like a direct signing, like literally directly with the signer. So, um, rather it being four o'clock, I may have to push it to, mm, let's say two 30 or so, and I'll get there earlier and I'm done for the day. Um, so I actually had six signings, not seven, just to reiterate and correct myself. So it was six signings. Now from six signings is going to go down to five. So because of my two o'clock docs are not in. Um, so it's really now a waiting game to see when I'm going to receive the doc. So let's see what happens. And if they do reach out to me, I could print it in my car. Again, mobile office in my car. Can't see you see just see seats but um we're just waiting so i'll keep you guys updated to see how my day is going stay tuned hey guys so just an update okay so i'm done with my home equity loan my fourth signing my fifth signing is now 206 no documents were Submitted. I had to call the sign-in service and ask them, like, hey, what's up? What are we doing? Um, so they told me that it has been moved to another date next week, which is Monday. And they're going to assign it to me. And that's really it. I mean, so I had to call my 4 p.m. and ask them if they're available earlier. And they said they're available at 3 so I guess I'm gonna finish early today so hopefully by 4 4 15 I should be back home to enjoy the little bit of time left on my birthday and then I have to go out again but it's not for work it's for church service so yeah so the home equity loan it was done bing bong boom within 15 20 minutes we started signing first and then we waited for the wife to come home and um yeah that's what happened but yeah i mean so today has just been a great day easy peasy no latenesses to any of my signings um you know confession is i used to overbook a lot of my signings so if i have one at 10 i'm gonna have one at like 10 30 and then i have to call them to see if they can meet at 11 instead of 10 30 and then the driving distance it's just a whole mess but i'm just happy um that i had to get everything un under control in a short time and make sure that nobody complained so hey guys so this is the finale oh just mix miss my exit god dong it all right um so, oh shoot. So guys, basically, I'm done with the signings. Um, this was the last one. This was the one that I was chosen as the notary yet again. And I'm freezing. So if, if you hear a kind of sound, that is my heater. Um, it took longer than expected. It took more than one hour just to sign. Maybe like an hour, five minutes or so. There was a document, there was a page there that they didn't agree with, they didn't understand what it was. So, um, 
basically they call loan officer they call title they call lender they will call everybody nobody had an answer just like oh they'll call you back so it just it took that that took alone 30 minutes the signing took less than 30 minutes it was just stuck on that page so i had to just like suggest like hey you know I have to beat traffic. I mean, I'm, I'm supposed to be home right now. Like, home. At 425, I'm supposed to be home. Signing was at 3, 310. I'm supposed to be home at 425. It's really not that far from me. So I, I told them, like, hey, you know, rather than sit here in the cold, because we're literally sitting in, in their garage. We sat in their garage. Um, and, you know, the garage doesn't really have heat. So it was just freezing. Freezing there. So... Um, we sat there and we're signing documents and like my toe is all frostbitey and my fingers are like numb. <sighs> hey. Um, they paid through instant pay and um, so I'm paid for this right now. I just have to go home, scan the documents, print out their IDs and um, basically um, ship it out I'm just so tired I'm like lost words guys I'm gonna wrap it up later it's a beautiful morning hey guys good morning it's Sarah back here again on day two of my hectic schedule Last night, um, I just couldn't mentally contain <laughs> what happened, so I ended the vlog earlier, but this morning, it's a new morning, it is raining, let me just show you guys, looking out here, it's raining, snowing at the same time, I just wanted to come on here and talk about um, the hectic schedule yesterday and my three signings for today. So today I have a signing with um, one company, but it's three different signings and different schedules. I have a nine o'clock, well, it's nine for the three now, but um, I kind of got there late due to the traffic and the weather. So... <clears throat> I got there maybe like 9.25 or so. We were done within less than 20 minutes. It's just one of the documents had the wrong name, <clears throat> the wrong signer's name. So therefore, I had to call the lender, let them know. So they emailed me the new copy of that page, which is like four pages. I had to run into my car. As you can see, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's my mobile printer there. I had to run into my car, print the document, and then um, run back inside just to get that signed. And within 20, 25 minutes with every running around, it was done. All right, so then I have 11 o'clock today. So it's literally like a two hour gap from the first one and the second one. And then from the second to the third, I have a three hour gap. So it was supposed to be at three acts, and if they could do it at two, they said great. But it's a three hour gap nonetheless. So I should be working on my Google business page right now, but I forgot my laptop. So, and I can't really do it on my phone because it's not conducive. So that's really how today is going. It's a rainy, cold day. It is 28 degrees outside. Um, as you can see, it's a whole new jacket now because the one from yesterday was not going to cut it. No, ma'am. So, that's what I'm doing right now. So, I will let you guys know how my 11 o'clock goes. I've been trying to call my 2 o'clock appointment to see if they can meet earlier. It's like 1 o'clock. Or maybe it's all 30, but um, no response. But I will let you guys know how my signings are going. Um, it's a very drowsy looking day like I didn't even feel like waking up this morning anywho I'll let you guys know later after my second time I'll talk to you later bye bye alright BU family so <laughs> great news 
I was able to, um, don't try this ever, but I went to the customer's house because I, I wanted to know, you know, why they weren't picking up. I, I didn't know what was going on. Again, original schedule was at three. When I did speak to them to confirm the appointment last week or two weeks ago, um, we agreed to two o'clock and then I couldn't really get a hold of them. I, I thought, you know, maybe they forgot about the appointment. So I showed up to their house about 15 minutes ago and um we were able to get it signed within 15 minutes and i left um they said that they were sleeping because they normally work nights so they're they're okay with us signing right now so they can continue sleep <laughs> but um so that happened so great thing so now my two o'clock has been done before one o'clock it's gonna take me an hour plus to get home so by two o'clock, I should be done and home, um, shipping out the documents, and I'm done for the day. Pam, pam, pam. So I'm so excited about that. But anyway, thank you guys for joining me today on my vlog. It has been eventful. Um, I'm gonna try to attach a video of what I do when I go drop off the documents, so you guys can see, you know, what it consists of, how to prep it. So I'm going to shoot another video once I'm closer to home. I'm going to basically video myself packaging the envelopes. They look like this right now. So they're open. They're not closed yet. I literally just printed um, the picture of their ID and my printer. It just came out about two minutes ago. And all I have to do is take it from the printer. Remember to take it from the printer, put it into the package, seal the package, Go on to my FedEx app. I have an account with FedEx. All I have to do is just go, go into the app, scan the tracking barcode for this, name it under the lender and the last name of the signer, and I have it, and it's tracking on my phone, so I don't need any paper receipts. I think I posted this on one of the groups that I follow on Facebook that there is an app for this now. UPS app, they really need to work on it. It's just... It troubleshoots all the time. This is an issue. So FedEx is GOAT right now with that. So I'm able to track everything. Even from like transactions from like September, I still have on the app. Although I was paid for it, but I keep it there just in case. It's, it beats carrying around paper, you know. Nobody wants to carry around, carry around paper. We deal with paper every day. I don't want to deal with it. Um, so yeah, so that's really the journey. I'm going to try to do a video and attach it to this, but if not, I'm going to do a whole new video about what the process is to ship out the document. Hey guys, as promised, I'm going to show you how I package my envelopes and then get ready to ship it in FedEx. So right now I'm in the back of my car with the ID. I just want to take it out of the printer. One second. Okay, I'm back. So I have the IDs. All I'm going to do is put it as the front page of the documents. joining me today i appreciate your time it must have been lengthy but hey this is a vlog so stay blessed happy signing and if you have any questions you can leave the comment hey guys welcome back today is saturday february 26th and i only had one job i just completed it so i decided to do this vlog it was literally a home equity loan um it was supposed to be at 11.30. I moved it to 10.30 because it's Saturday, you know? And it's the only job and they were available. They were home. And we did the signing within 15 minutes and I left. And right now, I just dropped the documents off at FedEx. Printed the label in my car and dropped the documents off at FedEx. So, yeah. That's it for the day. Um, I hope you guys enjoy your Saturday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have a great day. Stay blessed.
Bye. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your notification bell. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>